Roswell police are investigating after a deadly officer involved shooting this morning. Yeah, this happened shortly before midnight at a racetrack gas station on Crossville Road, and that's where we find Atlanta News First Bridget Spencer. So, Bridget, what do we know? Good morning. The scene here at the racetrack is still quite busy. You can take a look behind me. You can see several uh, police units still out here. You can see a SWAT vehicle from North Fulton, and they still have the entire area, the entire perimeter of this racetrack taped off so the public cannot uh, enter the crime scene at this moment. Now, here's what we know so far. Somebody called police shortly before midnight about a suspicious person inside of the store. When police did arrive, they saw a man with a gun who refused to listen to them, refusing to drop the weapon. The man, police say, barricaded himself in a corner in the store. And for about two hours, they actually tried to plead with him, tried negotiating for him to surrender. He ended up even also using non-lethal options to try to avoid um, any confrontation with them. He ended up shooting at officers. They say they returned fire and, of course, uh, injuring the man. He was taken to the hospital. Police say he did die from his injuries. Now, the GBI, of course, now taking the lead, as they do in many officer-involved shootings. But uh, in the meantime, this is what the scene is probably going to be looking like for several more hours as police uh, kind of gather evidence and talk to some store employees who might have seen or heard what happened. We even were told that some of the store employees had to evacuate while the situation was unfolding. So certainly some very scary moments here. Of course, we're going to be following up with police and bringing you all the updates as we get them. We're live in Roswell. Bridget Spencer, Atlanta News First.